Community College. This is the, uh, the Maths for Fun program, and we're in week five. And we are working with first year's class of May, and we have a group of parents who volunteer to, uh, to do the course. And really, what, what the, the, the Maths for Fun is, it's, uh, it builds on the concepts of mathematical uh, jargon, you might say, of students uh, who are coming from primary school, and really it builds on, uh, in an active and concrete way uh, how the students are learning maths at primary school. Um, their, their other aims, the home school community liaison scheme courses, they are to uh, empower parents and maths reform is one way the parents can be empowered to help their child, especially in the area of mathematics, through participation in the maths reform program. Uh, it also enhances, it enhances the parent-teacher relationship and increases understanding between the, between the parent, the teacher and the student of learning through concrete and, and action as opposed to the prescribed textbook which happens at a junior sort of level. Um, and also I think decreases the fear barrier that's there often in mathematics, uh, especially amongst parents at home who feel so helpless when it comes to helping their students at home with mathematics. And it shows the parents as well the, the working environment of the school and what, what exactly is happening in a post primary setting. We're, we're lucky enough here to have the maths for fun in an ideal setting with the school library. And it's, it, it, the school library was given to us as part of the um, Junior Start Schools uh, program. So we're, we're very happy to, to, to have that setting to run the program. And of course, as I said earlier, the program wouldn't happen without the involvement of parents. Uh, in the program and we were looking to have four or five parents here who have been working for the last several weeks with the students and uh, perhaps now we can just take a look at some of the activities that are happening in Mass for Fun here in, in, in the school. So here we have a, a table where we have matching percentages and fractions and again um, the idea is that you learn the concept of four fractions and percentages and as you can see they're very much engaged by the parents. Okay, they very much enjoy uh, what is happening in the maths. Uh, we must have about 15, 16 different games and the program is very successful and very varied. At this table here we have the tangrams and tangrams and pentominoes. Again, this is to build up mathematical concepts of shape and to encourage mathematical thinking. In terms of the shapes together, and you can only use a certain combination of patterns in order to make the different shapes. And some some of the students start off finding them difficult, but as the weeks go by, it becomes increasingly easier and easier, which just shows that their mathematical understanding is increasing. At this table here we have uh, a mathematics game involving equations and you might be able to see the equals sign there in the middle. And basically what they're doing is, is uh, increasing their understanding of mathematical operations, multiplication, division and uh, addition, subtraction, but using brackets at the same time. And this all goes back to what they've been taught in the primary school, uh, where they do the brackets before multiplication, multiplication, uh, division before and subtraction and the operation inside the bracket first of all. So again you can see the very structured um, approach to these particular games. At this table we have showed class 1A and they're working on an equation balance and the idea of the equation balance is to introduce them in a concrete and active way to uh, adding positive and negative integers. Um, unlike a rain scale you might have in, in, the, in the kitchen at home, you notice this uh, algebra balance has two pans to the side and the minus or the, the yellow pan represents the positive numbers and the red pan represents negative numbers. So uh, it is very easy to demonstrate basic adding uh, the positive and negative integers but also you can uh, do further advanced work around uh, x's, introduce x's and y's into algebraic equations and uh, that is something maybe that will happen in the next session of the maths program. Uh, here we can see some students who are using uh, ICT, they are using our school laptops uh, with a program called Number Shark, Number Shark 3 which is a, a very good program containing about 60 different games and in the same age I think it's very important.
about what you use, what advice you to you having this food as a tool rather than as a replacement for, uh, for a teaching method in the classroom. And of course it's always very popular with the students and once it's structured and well planned I think a lot of learning does take place with, uh, with, uh, with computers and ICT. And uh, Number Shark is a very good and varied programme. But we also have broadband here in St. Paul's Community College and these laptops are capable of getting onto the broadband internet and there are a lot of good sites on the internet uh, to which students can be introduced and a lot of sites where teachers can download uh, a lot of worksheets which they can use uh, around the programme such as this, the Maths Reform Programme. Hi, uh, Linda here. I'm a parent who's involved with the um, maths programme here in school on Monday morning. Um, it's great to see the kids learning and enjoying themselves outside the maths class. Um, I've also enjoyed it myself and learned a lot from the kids and hopefully it can continue from now on. My name is Larry, I'm a the maths was We learned a lot of maths and spelling in the class. <laughs> I just want to welcome everyone here. I'm delighted with the, the, um, the, the mass um, work that's been done. I'm delighted with, with the help that we're getting. And without the, the other square to help us, I mean, we wouldn't have any mass. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Lohan for organising it. And it's a nice fun way to learn that as well, than have to learn the hard way of like, watching a teacher right the backboard and you're right in the arms and the pocket. So, I think it's very valuable. And I see everyone is very well behaved too, which is excellent. And very interesting. So, yeah. Well, the names are printed on the surface, so. Okay. Yeah, and then we have another extra little surprise as well. Right. So, here's the start. Right. You can add a little bit of the Just making a small record, we've been playing the most maths games and 
we jiggled around in the computer with the, the what kind of chart is that? The bar chart. The bar chart, right? And at the top of the bar chart we have Stephanie, Stephanie okay? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just to the Middle East, right? We give her, we give her 